Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today, very exciting thing. We're harvesting the last of my bins. I've been doing this for the past three days, but something always comes up, so I haven't been able to finish and make a proper video. But basically, all my bins started around this date, and then I was supposed to harvest the 29th. Today's actually already the second, so I am a few days late, which is fine though. However, this is my original bin. So the last bin that I'm doing is my original, the one I've had for forever um but these castings are still very like wet and moist so it's gonna be very hard to um harvest but yesterday while i was doing my other bins i was able to get a lot of the worms out of here already so i should have shown you that uh showed you guys that but i'm still kind of getting used to the whole sifting thing i did build myself some sifters quarter of an inch and an eighth of an inch right there and then these two are the the bins that are already harvested basically it's all castings now well not fully finished castings but we'll be using these two as the cocoon nursery thing bins and then over here i had all the bigger chunks like all the shredded newspaper that didn't get um turned into the castings yet and here in this tub all my worms are in there so i don't know how i'm gonna wait them out i'm gonna try to clear out a lot of that those castings that are in there already um just so we can get an accurate reading because basically what i had in here before the amount of worms i had wasn't enough i really don't think it was enough because a lot of it was still the bedding was still in there um not a ton of castings yet so it's just i feel like they didn't have as many worms as my other bin so today that's what we're gonna try to fix finish harvesting and then redistributing all my worms into the bins more evenly so they can all basically have the same amount of worms so basically how i did this yesterday I, I just grab handfuls put that to the side handfuls go through the first screen pick out all the worms because if since this is still very wet if I shake it they they ball up and then it's even harder to sift so um for now I'm kind of picking out the bigger worms and then whatever falls under then I'll resift that and then you know all the bigger chunks get tossed in here and then the worms in here and then castings well I'll collect the castings here and then i'll add them to these two tubs um this is so time consuming um like i said it's my first time doing it this way so i'm still kind of learning as i go but um yeah it took me a long time but i was also kind of taking my time with it because um i really want to separate all the worms um, I really try to get not too many in here. If I can, if I see one, I'll pick it out. I am being a little anal about it because I want to count my worms or at least weigh them out and get an, uh, an estimate on how many I have. Um, so yeah, this um bin did have a lot of baby worms, like tiny dudes everywhere. So those are pain in the butt to um, sift out, or even when I sift them, they're impossible to grab. So I definitely think I could have done a better job um, um, fluffing my bins, especially this one, because like I said, this one's still very moist and um, it's just really hard to harvest like this, but it's okay. I'll be better next time, and once I get the hang of it, um, it should go a lot faster than how I'm doing it right now, because, like I said, the, this did take me quite a bit, but basically, what I do, yeah, this is so moist, and it's been so cold here, like, in the Midwest, um, that's where I live, um, but it's been so cold lately, and all of these like when i grab the worms it's like dude they're cold i don't know if that's bad 
I don't know, I, I gotta look up the exact temperatures that they can handle, but I hear right wigglers can handle a lot though, so I'm not necessarily worried, none of them have run away or anything like that, so I'm not really worried, but I also want the cocoons to hatch, because I, I think those gotta be at a warmer temperature. I, I'm not even sure though, but I gotta look that up. But, but yeah, it's just been very cold over here again. Like we had two days where it went up to 86 out and it was beautiful. And then after that, it dropped down to like 31. So we we're like, well, nature said not today, Junior. <laughs> I really, I, I really am wondering how many worms I have, because um, it it all started out with a thousand worm or a pound of worms, which they say is roughly a thousand, right? So, I mean that's not like a lot, but I think it's a good amount to start with, and hopefully I have more than doubled the population. At least that's what I'm hoping. I want a lot of worms. This is so moist. Look, you can feel it. Look at my gloves. I mean, it's not terrible, but it could always be worse, but it's a little bit too moist for my liking right now. And I left the, the fan on and everything, so I put this bin because um, yesterday when I tried to do it too, it was even worse, so I put it in my tent and uh, put a fan on and left the light on. Um, hopefully it would dry it out, but it's still fa fairly moist. Um, but it's not too bad. We'll make it work. Um, also, by the way, yeah, so for my bins, what I did this past week, I try to like, I split the bins into three or the bedding into three. So, um, right down the middle, I did laid out, I laid out a piece of, or a chunk of, um, watermelon, um, hoping to attract the worms to the middle. And then that way the edges or the corners or shoot the sides um would be well i was hoping it had it would have less worms in there too but so that way i can just pick out the middle and i'll show you guys because the watermelon is still there and i did um take a peek last night and there were so many worms but i took the like there was a huge worm ball and it kind of grabbed it and it took it out of there so I'm like, if I'm going to be sifting, I might as well get them out now when it's easy to grab them like that. So I'm hoping it's the same thing today. But again, keep in mind, I just did that last night. So who knows? But I have a feeling they'll be there. must feel when I shake them like that. I'm sure they don't love it. I'm pretty sure they do not love it. Alright, seems like we got a little warm ball here. So that's easy picking. And oops. There you go, right into the other worms. <laughs> Yesterday when I picked them up, I basically flipped all of this, you know, with the pancake. And oh my god. I've never felt that many worms in my life. So that was that was pretty dope. Um weird feeling, weird sensations, but Pretty dope. Um, yikes. 
And yeah, these are tiny. So, like I said, this bin just has so many baby worms. Or tiny worms. Baby worms, because now they're just growing, but... So many. There was a point, so before, I didn't really used to harvest too many castings. Like, I would wait a long time to harvest. Just because I didn't know how often I was supposed to do it. Um, so there's a point where my bin, what's, I don't even know what the size of it is. Let me see. It's a 12 gallon bin, tub. And there was a point where it just got nearly full. And it was so heavy. So, so heavy. Um, but it was very wet as well. So I just, the, the castings were basically mud and it was impossible. Like it was just impossible to, um, to harvest. So I didn't even know what to do. And then after a while, I just kind of made that bin into three more bins. Or I used whatever was in there and put it into three bins and that's kind of how I started into this and then that's when I started doing more research on it and I saw how people were doing it which then led me to make more bins and now the reason I'm doing it this way um, but yeah before I only had one bin but that guy got way full because I never harvested it But obviously, seeing how many baby worms are in there, that means something was still working. So that's always good. But castings are beautiful, man. I love the color that they give out. How they come out as. Like I've seen some castings that are like very like like brownish like a lighter brown color though and I'm like so I don't know too much about like all the nutrients and everything that castings provide plants but I'm kind of wondering like that lighter brown castings that I've seen some people get is that any less effective or helpful for, for helpful for the plants or no does it even matter all right, guys, I think I'm going to show you, hopefully they're there, but I'm going to try to show you the big old warm ball that I'm hoping to find. So this is the remaining of the watermelon. Um, like I said, yesterday's when I picked out the big, yeah, there's not that many left anymore. But yesterday's when I picked out the big um, warm ball, and I didn't make a video, so I will be putting into this one, just so you guys can see. Um... Because I had to video that. Like, I just had to. Hmm. Yeah, definitely not as many as I was hoping to find, but that's okay. Like I said, I have been at this for a while now. Oh, there's still a lot of worms here, though. Like, there's still a lot of worms in here. this is even more moist than it was before so because of the watermelon so this is gonna be not easy not easy at all this is a good example of what how next time's gonna go when I have a bunch of these I'm not going to care too much about the bedding, so I'll just be thrown into the bins that they're going to be going into, and that's it. But right now, again, I'm trying to get somewhat of a, a count on how many I have. And obviously, I'm trying not to have too much bedding in there when I weigh them out, but we'll see. I might even get lazy and just say F it. Cause it's, it's so time consuming. Oh yeah, I smell the worms. Oh boys. Oh my 
attention and stuff still, so I'm sorry I have to take you guys out of there, but All right, guys, so basically, last this is the last thing I'm going to do, which is sip this out, because this is where the money is at. You guys ready? Hope you guys can see. It's so heavy. Warm galore right here. Look at all that. I don't even think I'm gonna sift it. I'm just gonna weigh it out like this. Um, this was to keep them in there. I was hoping they would like it. Seems like they are. And then this will go into some warm bin. I haven't decided where yet. All right, guys, so we're gonna weigh them out. Um. I didn't sift the the worms completely just because it's so tedious. I'm I'm kind of done. I'm done with the worms for today. But we basically gonna get a rough rough estimate. Like three pounds. Okay. We're gonna measure all of this. And then dump it out. So let's start with nine ounces. And then by the end, we're just gonna add it all together. Nine. And obviously, it's not an accurate reading. It's just a rough, very rough. Nine point seven. And last one, six point six. Okay. All right, my friends. So basically, I know my math is probably all wrong, but it's okay. Each of my bins. So I want to make like I thought I had more totes or bins. I guess I don't. I thought I had two more for whatever reason. Well, I do have two more, but they're being used for the um, cocoons or castings and cocoons so in reality i only have four bins with my worms each of these have roughly 10 to 12 ounces bedding in worms so whatever that comes out to two grams but at least it's all the way even now and now we basically remake the bins 
this is the old bedding that they had too so i'm gonna reuse a lot of this just split it evenly and then go from there i'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done i might add new bedding if needed to but i don't know yet so i'll show you once that's done no i don't even think i made enough of this bedding all it is is shredded paper and some old castings um and that's it I'll prepare this bedding oh my plan is to prepare this bedding like i don't know maybe two weeks before i have to reset the bins again just so it has enough time to you know because i use oil warm castings and stuff like that so it should help it get the microbes in there already but like i said now we're gonna mix everything together make it look Cool, get the warmth in there and then yeah i'll just show this bin how i do it you know it's very self-explanatory what we're gonna do but basically that's it I'm not gonna lie this was a lot of work um just because i really want to separate the worms later on i'll just harvest like for example i'll harvest this bin um shake 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 whatever worms and leftover bedding like this that's in there i'm just gonna put it back in the same bin and and add more new bedding to it and that way because again now we have the same roughly the same amount of worms in, in each um each 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 bin i feel like i need more bedding but i might make more coconut core if not i have more um, shred of paper and i'll just add that in but ooh, it's an ant get out of here get out of here yeah i'll probably add more shred of paper maybe, maybe not maybe not since we'll be harvesting um these every three weeks i really don't need to be going crazy that's, that's all, that's in there. He, he, he. all right on to the next all right and that that is it these are the completed bins definitely or new bins with some fresh bedding and old bedding um i do have some scraps i know i said i wasn't gonna feed these guys too many scraps but i figure why not like this is still some of the watermelon that i used a couple of nights ago so i might just top it with warm chow i still don't know i might like here they have a huge thing corn, corn cob so they'll be busy with that for a while um but again we'll be doing this every three weeks and then <laughs> i'm gonna need more tubs for cocoons i'm or once they start multiplying i won't use these for cocoons i'll add those into some other bigger bins that i have and then because I'll, I'll be sifting these again in like three months or so, which now will have finished cocoons. Um, and then I'll just start using these again for actual um, breeders, basically. Um, but here we go. We're going to fill this rack up again, and then I'll show you what that looks like. All right, my friends, and that is that. I just got to label certain bins so, just so I don't forget. But that is that so basically super simple Oops. a thing of newspaper oh the warm chow like i said i was gonna feed them um newspaper plastic and then i have all of these so might as well use them 
for them. And then like, yeah, every, every single one of them. Oh, this is sick. Worm chow. Newspaper plastic. Cocoons. I had these, this uh laundry basket thing, but it ripped on me, so I figured I could use it for something. Uh, an old t-shirt. And I think I still put plastic under. Yeah. And newspaper. Wow. <laughs> I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, so sorry I didn't record every single little thing. It's just, like I said, I'm still kind of learning as I go. So I kind of needed to just do my, my thing. And then next time, hopefully it won't take as long. Because this time it, it just took so much, so so many hours. Um... But that was only because, I, again, I wanted to redistribute and have equal amount of worms in each bin. So right now, each bin has roughly 10 to 12 ounces. So whatever that is into worms. Um, yeah. It was so much fun, but it is a lot of work. And I have very small space to work on them, so... It made it maybe a little bit more difficult than it had to be, but that's okay. The the cocoon bins are going to be these two for now. Like I said, later on, I might throw them into a bigger tub and then actually use these as um, bins for breeding. But I need to get more worms, so um, maybe at some point I'll do pure reds. Because I know all these have um, blues as well, so maybe we can do these two big totes for pure red 32 quarts so decent size um yeah right here when they started roughly how many and then when i'll be resetting them again so all right thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later um i'll make I have some warm ball shorts that i want to make so um hope you guys like it again thank you so much like comment subscribe Bye.